Hey guys, this is Void of Dust Gaming, and today I'm bringing you the first video with Jinna. And Jinna is one of the heroes that I haven't played unless it was the trial mode. He is the latest addition that I have bought to my roster. And I mainly got him because at the moment I try to focus on champions which are not um, like 99 or 100% ban rate because I want to practice some good heroes like tier B but not tier A heroes. So um, yeah, this is one of the heroes. For the guys who don't know anything about tiers, um, just think of something like a rank system where you would basically rank different heroes. It is the same that you have with tables for soccer matches and stuff like that. So uh, there are better heroes and there are not so good heroes in this game. And um, due to their performance, they are ranked in some kind of system and it's called a tier system. And tier A is always like the best or tier S. Some tiers have the S to just make sure that these heroes are even better than the tier A heroes and that there's something special. So without further ado, let's talk about Jinnar because as I said, I have just bought him and I think he is pretty strong just from the performance that I have had with him in this game. I think he's quite crazy and he, he just plays a bit different than the other burst heroes and things like that because he has to be in range quite um, a lot of the times in order to make his spells work, especially his ult where he becomes faster and he also deals damage in circles around him, forces him to be a bit more in the center of the fight. So I would always advise you to kind of play the game that you can actually damage the heroes after your tanks and everything went in and that is the time when you can clear up and you can go into the fight and make it work. So that would be my that would be my preference if I have the opportunity to go in. I would always be a second wave caster and then I would ult in and then I would unleash all my abilities because I think that is the most beneficial thing that you can actually do with Jenna. Um, in lane, I think he is, as I said, quite strong as he has a lot of, a lot of potential in all order to uh, just poke the enemy so you're not dealing massive amounts of damage but you have a continuous effect i'm trying to use more um i'm trying to use more words and terms that everyone can understand so don't get me wrong on this like uh, i just want to set up good video content so beginners as well as pros can understand what i'm talking about so poke damage is basically the damage that you do over time so it's small amounts of damage which add up quite quickly and Jinna is really good at doing so because as his passive um, brings him to get piercing damage and that is damage that goes through enemies and that's really 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 strong so as you can see that is my ult um, it, it has been quite strong we were able to deal tremendous amounts of damage to the enemy just because of that one big uh, attempt that we were doing here and my team is doing great at fighting them and getting the enemies in and this is like they are almost half dead and we have this damage and as you can see I was able to pierce through the minions and I hit Grug under the tower while being pretty pretty safe um, that was really that was a really bad situation that turned out quite well um, in order to... I don't know how I did it, but basically what I did was I pressed all my abilities and I unleashed my ult, which make the, the first thing that happened is I was um, like drawn away from the clearing effect. Like I was faster than Grok was with the activation of his skills. And I was starting to deal damage while I was moving, which I would not have been able to if I was would have been like a normal, um, like a normal uh, mage, such as let's say Ignis would be a pretty good example. The Flash would be a good example. Like Flash could have ulted immediately to prevent um, the damage from hitting him. Sephira could have could have ulted as well. But most of the most of the mage heroes, such as 
let's take for example the and here's this here's the next situation like that was that was the next situation where the ult saved me so the ult is a quite important tool as it seems with Jinnah um, the would be cool if some Jinnah players could, con could actually confirm what I'm talking about like I'm not entirely sure but I think the ult I don't know if it is um, also getting rid of control effects so it's like a, a, a small purify that would be quite cool like I have to check it up after this video um, that said his abilities are quite easy to understand you have the you have the orbs that you are um, trying to fire into some direction or something like that uh, you have the slow on the two and if you have your ult enhancing your movement damage while doing damage on your ult your three so I think he's quite potent like from from my perspective I would say he's quite potent I like the fact that you are actually really mobile while doing some damage um, that's pretty cool and I had devastating games against Jinnah and that was the reason why I wanted to pick him up at my next as my next hero and the next hero um, depending on the new rotation like when the new heroes will be released like I'm, I'm not entirely sure about the about the new ones um, will be something like oh shoot she, she jumped off uh, would be uh, Baldum I'm going for a Baldum because I need a good uh, support character because in rank when I play my gold matches, I will be, I hopefully will be platinum quite soon. A lot of time I have the uh, problem that we are missing the support. And while we are missing the support, the problem is that we don't get the damage through. That's, uh, that's the main issue. We don't get the damage through or we cannot soak any damage. That's uh, really a problem and no one wants to play the support. And I think the support is a pretty insane and pretty important role and this was just the biggest misplay in this fight like why was i standing in that river like an idiot that was complete nonsense don't do something like that that was nothing that you should try at home nope not at all so yeah i'm pretty I'm, i think i'm building pretty standard like i'm going for the um, I'm going for the Phoenix here immediately to get the to get this sustain from the passive which means every time you level up you will get some health and you will get some mana and afterwards I think the most important thing on the heroes are boots boots are such a game changer because it finally enables you to be faster than your enemies saves you a lot of times if you want to run away or if you want to chase enemies so boots are always a good thing to Sometimes even max after uh, you have your first item halfway through. That's sometimes that's sometimes enough. There we go. Second enemy defeated, and now that the kills start to pile up, like it, it just seems that something something has clicked. And now the kills will start a pile on. I'm sitting on a three-two, which I think it's not that bad for a new for a new hero, and I'm not. So super exact with the mechanics um, like in general like I'm not I'm not the, technically the best player in the world uh, I'm not even I'm not even further than the normal gold rank and platinum will be platinum is close I will reach it soon but it takes so much time and so much effort I had a I, like yesterday I had the day where I was playing like five to six games because I'm on holidays at the moment and I lost every single game. Like I just wanted to produce some nice content and I'm fine with losing a game if I think there's beneficial content in it for you guys to understand what I'm doing and or what, what you shouldn't do. But this game was so bad that it actually like it wasn't it wasn't going to do anything. Like every single game was so bad, like from my performance and from the team performance that I didn't want to show those people on YouTube like that was that was something that I try to avoid but six games not one win and today I had a win with a I think I was going 10 10 something with with Quillen haven't played Quillen in quite a while and I was up against a really beefy butterfly and that beefy butterfly just she just wrecked me like that was that was so sad but yeah that's um 
that's the Jinnah game. And I, we will be we will be finishing this pretty soon, as you can see. I mean, you guys are you guys are ahead. You know how long the video is going to take. For the people who have seen my videos, you know that I'm doing some kind of wrap up at the end of the video as well as showing you the stats so you can actually see what i have built um from room wise uh there's nothing special about this i am going with the with the normal mage rooms that i have in my other videos as well uh so that's violate um that's hex and that is the other thing that is in purple which is also like I have, don't have health. Like what I'm doing is, I'm going on cooldown, I'm going on lifesteal, and I'm going on full damage afterwards. Like these are the arcana that I'm using, and I think, uh, from my perspective, they have been quite beneficial. And look at that! Look at how much damage I do. And now I start a, now I start to do some stuff as well. And there goes a butterfly. That has been a lovely butterfly. And suddenly I am sitting on. A nice seven kills in a game where we have been able to do 18 in total which makes me feel quite comfortable about him but to be honest and to be fair my team was doing a really good job on taking objectives that is sometimes a problem on the lower ranks um, that people are actually not playing in terms of opportunities and objectives they are playing to get kills when that's always a bad game now here comes the eight kill and we won the game that's nice and that was due to good tower pushing we did a good tower push move and that was that was how we won the game so my advice on Jinnah would be use his mobility he's quite mobile for a mage um, He's a bit like Liliana or L'Oreal, who are quite mobile. He does have the escape with his ult. Um, if you have the feeling that you will lose a lane or you will be killed, don't feel bad and don't feel frightened to use the ult. And otherwise, let's check out the build. There we go. And I buy I buy the Bereth's Agony just because I want more uh, armor. I would go for armor things. And I would go for magic defense as well. So guys, I'm Void of Just Gaming. Um, thanks for watching. I would really love if you can subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so. And that will bring you lovely videos four times a week at least. And check out my other videos as well. I wish you a pleasant day. Bye bye.